the undisputed king of fighter aircrafts, the most expensive fighter jet in the country, the Lockheed Martin F-22. Did you know that this fighter has a 1.7 million lines of code and contains top secret information, so secretive that its export was banned by Congress? What's so special about the F-22, and why is it still unmatched despite being 25 years old? Well, we've got you covered, as we are here to tell you all you need to know about the Lockheed Martin F-22. While you sit back, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Everyone has heard of the F-22, but what does it actually do? The F-22 is a stealth tactical fighter aircraft. The main purpose of the F-22 is to project air dominance rapidly. It is designed to penetrate enemy airspaces and target the enemy before the enemy spots us and neutralize multiple targets at the same time. Even though the F-22 is designed to project air superiority, it can be deployed for ground attacks, electronic warfare, and signals intelligence. Even though the name of the jet starts with Lockheed Martin, they aren't the only manufacturers involved in this project. In fact, the Boeing company was involved in the production of the F-22 Raptors. Lockheed Martin, the primary contractor, built most of the jet's airframe and weapon systems. The Boeing company has a separate division called Boeing Defense Space and Security, which manufactured the wings, aft fuselage, avionics integration and training systems for the F-22. Do you want to take a guess on how much one of these state-of-the-art fighter aircrafts cost? The F-22 is the costliest fighter aircraft in the U.S. and finds its place amongst the most expensive fighter aircrafts across the world. It has a price of 150 million U.S. dollars per Raptor. Considering that the F-22 is a revolutionary aircraft that is still unbeaten, you could say that it is worth every single penny. But buying an F-22 is not enough. You also have to operate the Lockheed Martin F-22. The Lockheed Martin F-22 costs a whopping $68,362 per hour of its operations. Again, is this something to be surprised considering its abilities and fuel requirements? Why was the F-22 created in the first place? The origins of the F-22 goes all the way back to 1981. The U.S. Air Force realized that they had to replace the F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon. At the same time, there were new emerging threats that were only getting stronger. The increase in the number of enemy aircrafts and the development in Soviet air defenses only furthered the need for a new advanced tactical fighter. As a result, the Advanced Tactical Fighter Concept Development Team, which later became the System Program Office, issued the demonstration and validation request for proposals in September 1985. Lockheed and Northrop were selected out of the seven bidding companies. Lockheed teamed up with Boeing and General Dynamics and Northrop teamed with McDonnell Douglas towards developing their prototypes, the YF-22 and YF-23. Parallel to this, Pratt & Whitney and General Electric were developing the YF-119 and YF-120 engines for the ATF. After several thousand hours of testing and development, the prototypes underwent flight tests, and on the 23rd of April 1991, the Secretary of the USAF Donald Rice chose the Lockheed team and Pratt & Whitney for the development of the ATF. The requirements had strong emphasis on stealth and supercruise. Surprisingly, the YF-23 design was the one which was faster and stealthier. However, the YF-22 was much more maneuverable, less risky, less expensive and was also much more adaptable to the U.S. Navy's navalized advanced tactical fighter. The program then later went on to full-scale development. And what do you get? A fighter aircraft with a wingspan of 13.6 meters, length of 18.9 meters, and a height of 5.1 meters. Weighing 19,700 kilograms, this stealth fighter aircraft is still unmatched to this day. On the 7th of September 1997, the F-22 made its first flight in Marietta, Georgia. But it was only in 2005 that it was formally introduced into service. As of now, 195 of these aircraft have been built. A tactical fighter jet with such a reputation would definitely have some serious speed to its name. The F-22 Raptor has a top speed of 2,414 kilometers per hour. This is a top speed of Mach 2.25. However, the F-22 cruise speed is at Mach 1.6 while carrying four AIM-120, four AIM-9 missiles, and a 20mm M61 cannon. This is mostly because the F-22's engines are able to produce more thrust than the current fighter engines. Its aerodynamic design, along with increased thrust from the engine, make sure that the F-22 can cruise at supersonic airspeeds even without using an afterburner, an ability called supercruise. 
The F-22 is the first aircraft to ever do so. The powerful engine that enables F-22 to do this was made by the previously mentioned Pratt & Whitney. The Pratt & Whitney F-119 is the engine developed for the F-22 and is an afterburning turbofan engine. And it's not one but two of these engines that power the F-22 to deliver top-class combat performance without affecting mission range. The thrust delivered by the engine falls in the 35,000-pound force class and could perform supersonic flight for a sustained period of time even without afterburners. This engine has a dry weight of 3,900 pounds or 1,769 kilograms. The F-22 has a range that's around 3,000 kilometers. That's nearly 1,600 nautical miles, provided that both its external fuel tanks are filled. The Raptor has three fuel tanks, one internal and two external. The Raptor has an internal fuel capacity of 18,000 pounds or 8,200 kilograms, and its two external fuel tanks, as mentioned before, has a capacity of 26,000 pounds or 11,900 kilograms. However, the combat radius would differ. The F-22 has a combat radius of 529 miles or 851 kilometers in supercruise, and if you are at a subsonic pace, you can get a range of 679 miles or 1,093 kilometers. This might not be a lot compared to other jets like the F-35, but the F-22 is much more of a mission-specific fighter aircraft rather than the F-35, which is designed to cater for various purposes. What is a fighter jet without weapons? Right above the air intake is a variant of the M61A2 Vulcan cannon, which is installed internally. The linkless ammunition handling system can hold 280 rounds of 20 mm ammunition and can feed the gun at 100 rounds per second. The Raptor also has four hard points on its wings. Each of these can carry 2,270 kilograms. They can either carry AIM-120A AMRAM or external fuel tanks. Inside the Raptor are three weapon bays. The primary weapon bay can carry six AMRAM AIM-120C missiles or two AMRAM and two 1,000-pound GBU-32 Joint Direct Attack Ammunition. The AMRAM missiles could be air-to-air -air or air-to-ground loadout. The internal side weapon bays can carry two AIM-9 infrared heat-seeking air-to-air missiles. While one can say an aircraft like this can stand on its own without any upgrades, it has had its fair share of upgrades over the years. The first updates were primarily focused on strike capabilities, and it enabled the deployment of JDAM. Later, an improved radar was incorporated. In 2012, automatic backup oxygen systems were fitted to address oxygen deprivation issues. The F-22 continues to constantly have improvements and updates to both its software and hardware. In fact, there are modernization and enhancement plans that are under development with funding going all the way up to 2031. This can include new sensors, antennas, stealth coatings, and so on. The fact that the F-22 has no competition was not enough for the F-22 to reach its initial purchase plans of 750 ATFs. Instead, it was cut down to 187 operational aircrafts in 2009. The primary reasons were the lack of air-to-air -air missions, high costs, and of course, the less expensive and versatile F-35. The F-22's stealthiness and advanced technology may as well be the reason for its shortfall. The fact that it was packed with the stealth technology and classified features meant that this aircraft could not be exported. Several nations such as Japan, Israel, and Australia made numerous propositions towards buying the F-22 Raptors. However, in 1998, the Congress voted for an amendment which explicitly forbids the sale of F-22 Raptors to foreign nations. Exports could have been a source of revenue and a way to cut down the costs on the F-22. Despite the export ban, secrets held close to the chest were not really held properly. Chinese cyber espionage was able to get blueprints of the F-35 and most importantly the F-22 in 2016. The Chinese also have the aid of Israel, who supplied them with U.S. technology. With this, they were able to develop the powerful J-10 fighters. Even though the F-22 is included in the plans for the future of the U.S. Armed Forces, the last of the lot was delivered all the way back in 2012, and it is probably the last F-22 ever to be produced. The F-22 Raptor is a perfect blend of stealth, maneuverability, avionics, and supportability. With technology moving at a rapid pace, one would have always expected the F-22 to be defeated, but that wasn't the case. The F-22 is still unmatched by any known or projected aircraft. Do you think there will be any aircrafts that will soon top the F-22? Did America discontinue the F-22 because they have something even better in their plans? 
let us know what you think in the comments below.